Hey herpers, herpetologists, and everyone else. So, ta-da! New edition. Uh, this is a beautiful juvenile slash sub-adult. Um, I wouldn't say sub-adult. Definitely juvenile Cuban rock iguana. Uh, I believe it's about a year and a half old. Um... This species of iguana is not like our invasive green iguana in Florida. Um, they're not very arboreal. They don't climb much in the wild. I mean, they do a little bit, but not typically straight up trees like our green iguanas. Um, they like rocks and crevices and cactuses. So, this iguana will get very large depending on the sex um, and subspecies it, it could be anywhere from three to four and a half even five foot as an adult um, one of the cool features I really liked about this lizard is this red on the outside of the eye that's just something that the Cuban rock iguanas have going on with them you can see this thing's got really impressive colors and pattern nice spikes some spikes on the tail spikes on the neck they remind me more of a marine iguana than a green iguana but they're obviously not a marine iguana um like most cyclera which are the cuban rock iguanas and the rhinoceros iguanas um he has really dark hands and feet um in comparison to the rest of their body so you can see this lizard in my hand for size reference it's what I always use in my videos it's just my hand like okay this is the animal on the hand hey buddy so I've named this iguana Ivy I figured it was a good unisex name just in case it's not a male but I think it is so yeah, unfortunately, um, I had a very old Savannah monitor that passed on um, due to poor health issues. It was a rescue, so it didn't have the proper care, lighting slash diet growing up, and I got to keep it for the remainder of its life and try to spoil it. But now I have this open enclosure in this beautiful animal. Um... I got a sweet deal on it uh, Black Friday, so I got a lot of work to do with it. It's definitely very flighty, not super aggressive compared to some of my monitors, um, but I've been told that it has bitten a couple people. Just trying to go in the cage and, and mess with it or whatever. So anyways, I just had it out on this chair trying to feed it this little salad but I don't think we're quite yet to that point so I mean I think considering me taking it out and it hasn't bitten me it's definitely not bad at all but man what a beautiful animal but I guess I got to give it some more time and be patient and try to gain its trust just like with a monitor try to make every experience a good one are you sleepy? Are you sleepy, Ivy? Let's go ahead and place Ivy back down in the cage. You can see it's very active, very alert, very intelligent. You can see it looking right at the camera like, all right, now you're in my space, so you need to go. I don't like that. Just what a brilliant looking animal. Anyways, y'all remember to subscribe, like, share, comment. Um, I appreciate all of your support. And as always, signing out. Nate's Nature Notes.